Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm trying something a little new. I'm gonna be ranking Emma Chamberlain's most popular videos. You're probably thinking like, Bish, what the f aren't you like 26? Like, don't you have anything better to do? No, I don't actually. Here's the thing. I'm not embarrassed to say that I'm an Emma Chamberlain fan. I discovered her summer of 2018. It's the summer before my senior year in college. I just turned 21 and the vibes are high. In my me time, I used to watch a lot of YouTube. I came across Emma Chamberlain. Binge ability score for Emma Chamberlain, high. Very, 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 very high. She's now back on YouTube, back on the platform we know and love her for. And she's making videos that are quite different than what she used to make, which is fine. You know, people grow, people change, but there are a lot of times that I'm like remembering who she once was, you know, the good old days, the good old videos. So I thought it would be a good time to reminisce together. We're gonna watch her most popular videos. We're gonna tier rank them. Here are the tiers. On the top, we have Peak Emma. This is like Emma Chamberlain. This is why you're a household name, girl. You are unique, you did it. Number two, we have Chaotic, but this is why we love her. Like, this is a crazy video. It's not given Peak Peak, but it's like, this is, this is a solid Emma video. Three is slightly embarrassed, but I'll excuse it. Self-explanatory, okay. The last one is no, Emma, Emma, no. Emma, 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 Emma. Emma. Stop. I don't know what we we're thinking. I don't know why this has so many views, but that's, that's kind of the bottom tier. Looking at these videos, just like quick glance, I remember these phases, like the Coachella phase, it's in here. The Gerties are in here and the Sister Squad is in here. So Jojo Siwa's in here. It was the day and age of the little collaboration. Okay, so we're gonna start at the bottom. We have the extremely last minute trip with Emmy, Emmy, Ella, Ella, Ellie, <laughs> Ellie Thuman. So in this video, she spends $500 last minute to go to Arizona. <laughs> I think this was also like peak Emma. Like it's how we knew her because she's doing like the edits on her like friends. And like I heard in an interview that that's what she like started doing when she'd record videos with her friends, which made her realize that maybe she should like start doing that for YouTube. So I feel like it's too early to put a video in the peak Emma tier. I just don't think you're supposed to do that in the first five minutes of a video, you know what I mean? But this one, this one ranks up high. This has all the elements of an Emma Chamberlain video. She has a sponsorship. Hi. Instagram phase and the chaos in the car. I feel like those are authentic elements. This is this is why we love her. It's chaotic, but it's Emma. Moving on to the next one. Oh, this one's a Dolan Twins and James Charles one. Okay, this is like one of four or five videos of the sister squad in these top popular videos, which I think makes sense, right? Like all of the audiences for these other like YouTubers are also probably watching these videos. Makes sense why it's in the popular, but is it like worth being in the top 16? We'll see. I don't remember this one. Let me rewatch this one. Let me try to remember what it's about. Today, we're going to say hi to Santa. You stand back with the vlog camera, I'll get the sweaters. Perfect. This is enough cardio for me, I'm literally hot. Frozen foundation didn't wipe off on the floor. Oh, you suck. I'm thinking for this one, I added a new tier. It's called meh because it's just like a no comment tier. Like it's not embarrassing, but it's not like a bad video. It's just kind of like meh to me. Okay, moving on, moving on. We're trying vegan fast food today. I think I really enjoyed this one. I remember this one. Do I go in this way? Okay, now like I don't think people understand how hard it is to like have that much excitement and like that much of a personality on camera when you're just like alone in your car. This video is peak Emma. It's like her doing her tang. The fact that so many people have done like fast food reviews and she was able to make this like her version of it. I like remembered this video too, which I think says something about the quality. Going on a trip by myself. I remember when this video came out, even though I was like years older than her, I was so inspired by her going on a trip alone. Like I think she just goes and like stays in a hotel alone and just like does her own thing. And I remember being like, whoa, I looked up to that level of independence. I don't know. I feel like even now I can't do this. Just go stay at a hotel alone. It's a two hour drive away from me. I need to know what hotel she's at. She said La Vantage Laguna Beach. Did she say La Vantage? Vantage. Vantage? Le Vantage? This is gonna bother me. Spa Vantage? Montage. It's Montage, you stupid. Laguna Beach. Five star hotel. Girls just casually going on it. Oh. Thousand dollars a night. She's just casually going to do a little stay, doing a little spa thing. Spa things at these hotels are ridiculously expensive. Why am I so curious? I just want to know how much she spent that day. <laughs> oh, I really have nothing better to do. Okay. How much do we think she was making at this point? I mean, I'm just saying. Girl was balling already. Oh my god. 
Okay, wait, she gets like a facial. Oh my actual God. Good for you, Emma, good for you. I really like this video. I think it, one, is a great video to watch on your own because you can, you get inspired to spend time with yourself and like see all the things you can do. So I love this video. I also like, I don't know, it's maybe it's because I'm watching it as an adult now and it's just so crazy to me to see her just entertain so many people by just like hanging out alone on camera. I just like, actually that's insane. That's really hard to do. I wouldn't even say this is chaotic. I love this video. I feel like this is peak Emma. I'm thinking, I'm starting to see a little trend here. I know we've only done like four, but I'm thinking peak Emma is like, when it's just her and it's just her like authentically entertaining her viewers by just being herself and making conversation with a literal camera lens, like that's insane. Okay, turning Jojo Siwa into me. I actually don't know if I've seen this one because I was probably like, oh, I don't like really know Jojo Siwa. It's kind of a random collab. Were they the same age? How old is Jojo Siwa? I need to know. She's 20. Oh, I guess they're like closer in age. So like maybe that made sense for her to collab with her. But I feel like Jojo Siwa's like audience, like like her little like demographic is like way, way, way younger than Emma. Emma was like 14 to like 18 at the time. So yeah, I don't think I've watched this video ever, but let me see it. Are you ready? Yeah. Amanda's ready. Oh, Amanda's in this video. Okay, so this is like into her LA face properly. I got a DM a few days ago from Jojo. Okay, Jojo Siwa reached out to Emma to collab. That makes sense. Like it wasn't the other way around. I just like couldn't see that happen the other way around, but this way, this makes sense. Okay. In today's video, I'm turning Jojo into me. Not my cup of tea. I I just it just feels kind of insane to be as old as me watching this video. And it probably felt the same to me when it came out too. Yeah, this one is definitely like a slightly embarrassing, but I will excuse it. Which like now looking at these two videos, I feel like this one wasn't that bad, right? Like I feel like the James Charles one wasn't that bad. Do we even need this? No, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep moving. Okay, okay. Oh, is this preparing for Coachella? Okay, I'm a huge fan of all of her Coachella videos. I think those are insane. I don't know if this is the dot phase of Coachella or the year after. So let's remember together, shall we? It's Coachella season, baby. <laughs> Do a little montage. Oh my God. I feel like this one was a chaotic one. I've been shopping for the past two hours. I actually meant to say five hours. I had diarrhea and I had a lot of scary I can feel the chaos through the screen. It's low key giving me anxiety. It's, it's a bad. <laughs> But we love her. This is why we love her. I feel like this is a video only she could do. If anyone else did this, I'd actually be like, unsubscribe, block, leave me a learn. Oh, well, the next one. I went to Paris Fashion Week. Ooh, I'm kind of excited to rewatch this one. Can I order room service? Okay, sorry. It's actually insane because I think this is her first time going to Paris in this video for Louis Vuitton. And I remember when that happened, it was like, oh, she's like, she's stepping out of the YouTube bubble and she's like, she's not our little Emma anymore. You know what I mean? Like, this was crazy. This is a, this is a good one. Yeah, like seeing her being excited what? about being this at this hotel, so which I'm pretty cool. sure she stayed at the following years too, when she went for Fashion Week is crazy. That's it's crazy. This is peak Emma. We know where this video is going. A peak Emma. Even though I've ranked the video already, seeing her in these outfits at this point in her career was just so insane. It actually looks like she's just playing dress up, which was really fun and crazy to see. Now this is her like normal life, which is also really insane. This is the best breakfast that exists. Watching her have this breakfast and like freaking out about it is so crazy. It's so crazy that this is like how she was. Oh my God, oh my God. It's why we loved her, you know? It's before the like media and LA changed her. I'm kidding. She grew up, move on. Like her trying on and dancing with the office is so peak Emma, oh my God. Okay, love this video. Love, love, love. We're almost halfway. Going on to high school dropouts take finals featuring the Dolan twins. Again, I never watched the Dolan Twins. Let's see, I also, I think they don't make videos anymore. Like, I don't even think they're on YouTube anymore. I feel like I've never watched this video. If we were all in school right now, we won't be taking finals, but we don't go to school anymore. So we thought it'd be fun if we took finals again. Here's the thing though. Do we feel like videos like this, like this video specifically would do well now on YouTube? Like, I don't 
think so. Think of your favorite YouTuber now, and if they come up with this video, you just kind of be like, I don't know, this was like the age of like unique YouTube video ideas. I feel like that's still a thing. Now. I don't, I'm ranting, I'm ranting. Let's keep going. Okay, I kind of don't feel like finishing this video, I don't know. I don't have anything against the Dolan twins, but I'm just like not interested in the idea and yeah, in the idea, I think. And I think that's how I feel meh about the video. I think that makes sense. Like I just like not interesting for me and not like rewatchable for me. Like the ones that are higher, like I would watch again and I would enjoy them and I'd sit here and like chill and like watch them again. But this one, that's a one time watch. and. I don't even know if I watched it once before. So moving on, the photo shoot featuring mental breakdown. This is Emma Chamberlain in the Gerties. I think they come to LA. Sorry, Hannah, I promise I'll let you talk in a second. I no, I'm enjoying this. Hannah's such a cutie. We're like a couple minutes into this video. It's chaotic. They're so young. I was watching Hannah Malosh kind of when she was in her Hawaii phase. I feel so sick right now. I do think it was interesting that the three of them were so close, but I think it makes a lot of sense that Ellie and Hannah are still really close and Emma's maybe not as close to them or it doesn't talk to them at all anymore. Like you can just tell knowing that now, like when you rewatch these, like the dynamic just kind of makes sense. Girl friendships. I drooled on my face when I was sleeping and it ruined my spray tan. Every time she moves on. Why does she look so different here? I think it's the long hair. Did these videos just take you back? Take you back to 2018, oh my god. I'm thinking this one is a chaotic, but we love her. Yes, are we in agreement? I think so, I think so. We're officially past the halfway point, guys. What? Should we take a break? Let's have some water. Mm -hmm. This next one, she's dyeing her hair, which I believe happens in LA. I think James Charles is in this video. I remember it being kind of crazy because it's like she goes from her like blonde hair to like dark brown. What's up? Today we're just going to LA. The way this video starts off, that to me, when I think of Emma Chamberlain, like when she first started off, this is what I think of her in the car with her hair like this in this jacket. They're so annoying the way that they oh, are. Oh, this is there. like as she's about to move to, to LA. Like, oh my just, gosh. This was just like, five yeah, years ago. That's crazy. Apartment. Even though I would like more almond butter. And like, what's that liquid right there? Like, I don't... Insert pictures of me getting press juicery. I used to get strawberries and chocolate chips on mine. Oh, that's so good. I'm craving it now. But yeah, I don't think I was initially a good fan of her dark hair. Too dark, too dark. Ugly! Yeah, she thinks it'll look good with a tan, maybe? It'll look, just tell me it'll look good with a tan. It will look good at the tan. I've rewatched it, I think, which definitely means that it's higher. I'm thinking it's peak. I don't think so many videos are supposed to be in the peak section. This feels wrong, but. Moving on, letting go. We're moving on to tomorrow. The truth about Coachella, guys. This is the infamous Coachella Dope Girls trip. Oh my God. If you don't know, you could probably do a quick little Reddit search on it. Despite everything that came out about the trip after as part of Emma's repertoire, this is a peak video. Also, she does this thing, which I'm pretty sure I feel like I do too. It's like, you're already like a certain personality and like level of chaoticness. On your own but then when you're with your friends who you know like love you you're just kind of like even more you like turn it up a notch and this is that this is her being but it's like imagine someone else doing this you'd be so annoyed i feel like all her peers wanted to be her you know what i mean okay this one no doubt right actually is it i feel like it's more chaotic and this is why we love her right oh my god i'm seeing a pattern i'm seeing a pattern do we see the pattern this is a different coachella year this is i think the year later when she goes with amanda and olivia i kind of don't remember this one <laughs> This is my favorite part of this video, her woo, dancing. Woo, woo, woo. Here's the thing though, honestly, I don't know if I was the m biggest fan of her with these two compared to her with Hannah and Ellie, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it was just the phase that she was in, but this phase of hers doesn't rank as high for me, I think. I posted twice within 20 minutes. Like She still looks so young here, oh my God. I think it's a good video still. <laughs> Do I eat yogurt and granola because of Emma Chamberlain? I don't know. Why am I watching this now thinking that I do? Cause that's kind of when I started eating yogurt and granola for breakfast. Am I the only one that does these things? I just kind of take on the personality of the people that I watch the most. Ooh, that's kind of embarrassing. What are we thinking? I'm like between the, actually I'm between these two, these two tiers. And I'm thinking, we'll put it here. This was one of her weaker videos in all of these videos. And I think that's okay. Let's keep it there. Let's keep it there. Let's keep moving. Four more guys. The next win is of who? Trying meat for the first time. Ooh, I'm excited. 
Also, I remember being like, oh my God, she's gonna try meat like for the first time, like on video. Like that's kind of crazy because being vegetarian, being open to like trying meat for a YouTube video feels kind of like, oh, maybe that's not big of a deal, but like that feels like a big deal to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I also feel like this is one of those videos that like anyone can come watch like anyone that's like a vegetarian is just like can come and watch for like an authentic real reaction I am gonna put it at meh, which is starting to make me think. Maybe I'm just biased because I just never watched the Dolan Twins. Guys, okay, let's just remember these are my rankings, not yours. I mean, we're reminiscing. The point of this is to reminisce, okay? All right, oh my God, the next three videos are with Dolan Twins. Thankfully, I remember the next one for sure because I watched it recently in preparation for this video. It's turning me into an LA girl where they're like up in the middle of the night and they're like, okay, we gotta turn Emma into an LA girl. It's James Charles, it's Ethan and Grayson. <laughs> Shocked, I remember their names. Okay, James like picks out an outfit for her, does her makeup. Ethan and uh, Grayson are just kind of there for vibes. Seeing her with all that makeup was kind of insane. This is I think flashback Mary like era <laughs> and he kind of made her look like one. I'm not gonna, actually, I think this one I'm gonna also put in the meh category. I think this one was just kind of flat. I also think they're just like tired in this video and they're just like, for the sake of the video, make a video. But I think you can definitely rewatch it if you're going back and binging her videos. I think that's like a good one to like watch as part of the series. Dressing up as each other featuring Sister Squad. Okay. I kept going and going and going. No, I said elbow on fire. This is what happens when you put like a bunch of YouTubers like together. Like you can see them all wanting the attention. Oh, that's funny, okay. James and Emma are dressing up as the twins, and then one of the twins is dressing up as Emma, the other is James. So they split off to like find outfits for each other. Yeah, I'm not on top of my game right now, so. No, I can tell. <laughs> Hi. I actually just think James Charles is so funny, and I enjoy him in these videos. Hey, Gray. Got him! This video is officially slipping into next level chaotic-ness. This is a good one. This is actually a good one. I'm starting to panic because my camera's at 6%. Definitely chaotic, but this is why we love her. We finally have a Dolan Twin James Charles video that is higher than than the meth level. Okay. The final one. I don't even have to rewatch this one because I actually just rewatched it the other day. Road trip to Vegas. They decide to drive late at night from LA. It's probably like a five hour drive. They're staying on like the top floor somewhere at some hotel because they're all like under 21. They obviously aren't doing anything like Vegas related. They go shopping. Thing. They do a little zip lining thing. They buy Gucci stuff. And that's really what ages this video because no one's buying that stuff this year, let's be honest. I know that all the Emma stands like love this video, but for me, this one's like a, are you surprised? Let's see, let's guess. It's a meh. I think it's a meh. I feel like people are gonna come for me. I think this is the official, the official like thing, guys. I'm shocked that there's none in the no Emma no category. Actually, if I like look back at this, I feel like this one was the most boring, the high school dropouts one. So for the sake of having one in that tier, let's move that one down. And this is officially the final tier ranking, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this reminded you of all of your favorite moments with Emma. Definitely go give her more views. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this, let me know what else you guys want me to rank. You know what I mean? That was fun and I think it's really cool to see like what stands the test of time. Like which of these videos I'm still enjoying years later versus the ones that I'm genuinely like, mm, what was I thinking when I watched these? You know what I mean? Anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any thoughts on my tier ranking, comment that shit down below and I will see you in my next ranking video. Bye-bye.